I hate reusable bags. Welcome to Grumble Goat. My name is Matt Labodka, and this is a show about all the small things that drive me insane. Let's grumble. The idea of the reusable bag was a nice idea. It was a good idea. It was a it came from a place of love and concern for the planet. I have reusable bags. I use reusable bags. But the problem is I'm the exception, not the rule. The reusable bags have become an epidemic because, and here's the folly. Here's where it all falls apart. You forget to bring the reusable bag. Yes, we're drowning in plastic bags. We have to stop using plastic bags. Going to the grocery store and bringing home 20 plastic bags to bring home a handful of items. Yes, that's ridiculous and absolutely has to end. But we have to stop the bags altogether. Because here's the problem, we don't bring the bags. And if you don't bring the bag, then you need to get another reusable bag. You can't go anywhere and not bring home a reusable bag nowadays. You go to a luncheon or a book signing or a fundraiser and they hand you a reusable bag to bring home. Like, oh, how convenient is this? Everywhere you go, people are handing you reusable bags. So now that little cupboard under the sink that we used to put all of our stupid plastic bags is now full to the brim of reusable bags. Reusable bags that have pure intentions. The idea is to reuse them, but they just accumulate. And at least with the garbage plastic bags, like you could reach under your sink and grab one to say, scoop the cat litter or use it for another purpose or bring one hiking so that you could put your banana peels and your apple cores into a bag and bring it out of the woods again. It turns out that those awful garbage plastic bags were effectively more reusable than the reusable bags because the reusable bags are too nice. Oh, you can't put cat litter in that. It's too nice. No, let's store it under the sink for years and years. And every time we go to the grocery store, have a mental image of like, oh, the bag. Oh, I didn't bring the bag. Next time. There is no next time. The earth is drowning in reusable bags. Now, instead of a bunch of unrecyclable plastic, we have a ton of thicker, sturdier polyester filling up our landfills. This was not the solution we were promised it was. Nobody's reusing the bags. Stop handing out more canvas bags. You know what the best reusable bag that was ever invented was? A backpack. It's the greatest reusable bag ever invented, and it's fun. You can get Pokemon characters on it. And in one of the pockets of my backpack, I keep another reusable bag. It's bags all the way down. Bags, bags, bags. I hate that we're drowning in reusable bags, and that's the grumble. Grumble, 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 grumble. What? Grumble, 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 grumble. What's got your goat? For the latter half of the show, we'll bring in my better half, Veronique, for an unpretentious look and a segment we call... What's got your goat? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I, I'm, I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. Great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yes. So you had a weekend bachelorette party. Yes. It was very successful. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you've already told me all the stories, but that's fantastic. I haven't told you all the stories. I just there's told you some stories. There's more stories? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, there's just so many things. It's hard to wrap it up into one thing, but it was perfectly imperfect, and it was incredibly amazing. I love it. Yeah. And you were in the Poconos. We were in the Poconos. That's fantastic. It's my first time. It was my first time in the Poconos. And you had a perfectly imperfect time. I had a perfectly imperfect time with the most... Perfectly imperfect people. Perfect. Perfect is not interesting. No, perfect's not interesting. That's why heaven uh, gets a bad rap. Gets a bad rap. Yeah. It sounds boring, doesn't it? Sounds really boring. Infinity in the perfect place? Well, it just depends on how you... I mean, I need a little bit of drama. We all like a little drama. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it keeps yeah. things interesting. But heaven doesn't have any drama, right? Well, we don't... I'm not quite sure. I haven't been there yet. I mean, if heaven is anything like a Sunday morning church group, then... Well, there's a lot of backstabbing there. It's full of... Yeah, yeah. it's full of intrigue. There's some <laughs> hypocrites up there then, perhaps. Anyway, so you missed last week. I missed last yeah. week. So I had to entertain our guests all by myself. Oh, my Oh my gosh, I think they were even more entertained by your first chapter of your book, That's Zach. That's right, Zach. Than the they human. would have ever been yeah, right. with our episodes. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was fun. I hope people enjoyed it. I hope so too. Yeah, I hope you never leave the podcast again. Otherwise, I'll have to share with people more chapters. Oh my gosh, I'm going to leave in, in April. Oh, well, we're going to have to do this again. Okay, spoiler alert. Little sneak peeks, <laughs> chapter two. Chapter two is coming up. That's right. It's a beautiful story, it's a coming of age story. But you're back now. I'm back. You seem like you're in a good, happy place. I'm in an incredible place. Are you ready to grumble? Do you, do you think you could muster up some grumble energy? Yes. Uh, grumble. grumble. Yeah. So it looks like you brought home a dragon statue. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Patty helped me pick it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You met lovely Patty in the Poconos. Yes. And she helped you pick out a dragon. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. I really enjoyed meeting Patty. Yeah. 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 And when you buy something in the Poconos. Yes. How do you, uh, how do you bring it home with you? Do they wrap it up? Like, it snows they... in the Poconos. It snows in the Poconos. It snows in the Poconos. And it was magical. It looked like a magical place that doesn't recycle. Can you believe that? The community does not recycle. They don't recycle. They don't recycle. What, what do you mean they don't recycle? They just don't have the green bins well they don't pay for recycling i'm sure so just everything goes in the trash i guess it goes in the trash oh well for do they because the first two are reduce and reuse yes. do, you, do you see them reducing and reusing i i made some suggestions okay yeah what were your suggestions the k-cups oh the uh, for the coffee yeah for for the keurig machine yeah, yeah. okay but so they still use the pods they they the have pods the, that they just have go the, right they in the offered trash. the pods they offered the pods okay for us to use. and those yes. those are a tremendous waste because yeah. those things just go right in the trash yeah yeah so that's why you I get the reusable K cup. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if we're already ingesting plastic, it's fine. Yeah, we're already eating the plastic. We're already it's all, doing it. Microplastics are already, already in our cellular structure. Exactly. It's part of our mitochondria at this point. Like, I actually, embrace it. I don't know how I would feel if I didn't have plastic in my body. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I'm yeah. a Barbie girl in, in a Barbie, Barbie world. world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. Yeah. Ah, that's it's me. perfectly imperfect is it's what it is. perfectly imperfect, yes. Exactly. Fantastic. So any other suggestions you made for them to reduce or reuse if they're not recycling? Well, it's not the people, but it's everyone in the community that shows what I'm assuming is to not pay for recycling. Yeah. It just seems counterintuitive in such a beautiful place. Yeah. I mean, their tourism has everything to do with the landscape. Yeah. So you you want to keep it beautiful. So you right? should keep it beautiful. Yeah. Keep the Poconos beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they just they just want to throw everything in the in the trash. Apparently. So Apparently. so do they use you were shopping for instance. Yes, we did, went shopping. Did they like put it in a disposable bag? Like what was the packaging they put it in? You know, that's interesting because I didn't accept any bags. You didn't take any bags. I didn't take any that's bags great. because is, we had a car. This is our habit. Well, and we come from a place where we bring our own bags. Yeah. And I get disgusted when I see the bags that they're offering at the grocery store because they're even worse. What kind of bag are they offering? What's, what do you mean? I don't know. It's like that mesh material. Oh, the, oh, sure. It's like a, it's, oh, it's like a, a quarter away from felt or something. Yeah. I, yeah, I, don't I know, know exactly what you're talking about. But I'm like, what is this? And then does this break down? I don't know. I I don't know like, what that is. Yeah. But in this community, they they're just use, throw, like whatever bag they put their dragon toy in, they're just throwing it in the trash. Yeah, plastic bags. Or do they reuse bags there? Did you see anybody shopping with a reusable bag in the Poconos? Mm, I don't think so. What, what percentage of the country? Because I've been around the country. Yes. And like when I was in Tennessee in yes. January. Yes. And I saw nobody. I brought a reusable bag to the grocery store. Right. And they looked at me like I was doing something fishy. What the, is because, this? Because nobody else brought reusable right. bags. And they, they're they still throwing it in the old timey, the what plastic bag. What are they bag. doing? Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? What are you doing? So a lot of the country is not on this bring your own bag situation. I know. If they don't have the law in the state, then they most certainly are not. I believe I got plastic bags and I said to Shannon, oh, it looks like they're still using plastic bags. Yeah. We're the only country, or I don't know, I shouldn't say that. I don't know about this blanket statement, but we're a major player in the world. Sure. Some, <laughs> some would argue that America is a major player in the world. Exactly. And if we want to be the leaders, then we should lead by example. And it looks like we're not leading with example. We're leading like we lead in heaven, which is with hypocrites. Okay. <laughs> well, we certainly lead the world by example. And that example is military force, waste, and capitalism. We're not leading the world in, in climate change help. We're a little 
upside down, aren't we? we? Yeah. I, Are I, we in an upside down? I'd say we're in an upside down. I'd say of all parallel universes, this this is the dark timeline. I felt like I was in an upside down. Oh, you felt like an upside down. Yeah. Okay. I think we're all in a dark timeline. We are. Exactly. Yes. Yes. We are yes. all trapped in the darkest timeline. Yes. The darkest yeah. timeline right now. The yeah. extinction of humans. And guess what? We're doing it to ourselves. <laughs> that was said with a lot of radiant, uplifting positivity. But that's the only way that people are going to listen. Uh huh. Why aren't Americans reusing their bags? <laughs> okay, so how what many people are missing? What are people missing? Is how to be inventive. Right, you have to be inventive. We yeah. because we have to reduce, reuse, recycle yes. if we're going to make it through this global catastrophe of uh, climate change. Exactly. Yeah. <gasps> I have a great idea. Okay, what's your idea? We are coming up with a sweepstakes at sweepstakes. Grumble Goat. We have a sweepstakes. Okay, it's sweepstakes. If you are listening and you do not have a bag to take, go to the grocery store. We have bags, and I will send them to you. We will send, I'm send you, you our garbage our reusable garbage bags. Reusable bags that we got. <laughs> but hold on. This is because see, we're don't reusing. You see, we're not unique, though. What? Everybody in America has this collection of reusable bags. Yes, but America is drowning in reusable bags. Yes, but that's the irony. We got to use all the bags. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. I'm glad you're on board with Thank the bags. Thank you. I am. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you go to like CVS and you walk up to the counter with three things. You got like toothpaste and some salsa and some toilet paper and you walk up to the counter. They like go to get a bag. And I'm like, no, I don't need a bag. They're like, you sure? And I'm like, no, I carried it up here to the counter all by my lonesome. You witnessed me perform this feat of miracles. Yeah. I brought it up to the counter. I will just carry it home the exact same way. Do you think it's because the cashier didn't really do anything for your experience and the one gesture that they can make is to offer you a bag? No, I think the bag thing is just a remnant from a bygone era that <laughs> nobody will let go of. It's because everybody expects the bag. Everybody wants the bag. My whole life I've been given bags. Give me my bag. Yes, I need a bag. Yeah, this transaction is not over until you hand me a really long receipt and I want a bag to put it in. Can we just think for a moment, can we just pause for a moment and think about our actions? Yeah, if you're going to drive around a two-ton behemoth yes. that has built-in space, yes. just throw everything in there. Yes. What? If you're going to carry this giant hunk of metal everywhere you go, you don't need all the bags. No. Can we leave the dinosaur juice in the ground? Yes. Imagine in a thousand years when the aliens come down and discover our broken planet. If it takes that long. They're going to sift through the last remnants of the human race, dust a little bit of dirt off the top, and they're going to find the remnants of the 21st century, the downfall of mankind. And it's going to be covered in bags. They're going to have to sift through layers of reusable bags to get down and figure out why our civilization collapsed. And it's because we buried ourselves under the idea of reusable bags. Yeah, I think they're going to ask the question why did they hate themselves yeah, the aliens are going to discover all these cars all this waste all this yeah. trash and they're going to be like clearly they saw that the end was coming because they made the reusable bags but right. they didn't do any of the steps necessary to stop the collapse of civilization they continued to yes. burn fossil fuel well i think what this is is really speaking to is we're treating the symptoms we're not treating the stem yeah. of the problem we're treating the symptoms right well the stem of the problem is the wealthy the american yeah. oligarchs are burning us all alive and telling us that if we use a reusable bag every time we go to the grocery store we're doing our part to save the planet eventually the aliens are going to sift through and find a fossilized paper straw and just like yeah. their, their brains yeah. are going to explode well, when they try to explain the downfall of the human those, civilization those privileged people that are not connected to the middle class they have no concept of what stress is no, they know what stress is. Have you ever seen them throw a fundraiser and the florist brought the wrong color flower? <laughs> they know stress. So anyway. We got to make recycling cool. We got to make recycling cool. Yeah. How are we going to do that? Wait, not recycling. Recycling no, no. is a lie that's been fed to us that's since right. the 70s. That's right. Okay. That like, oh, we're going to fix the plant by recycling. We have to reduce and reuse. Why is it so hard? Children use it all, do it all the time. Yeah. Every, every cool rock becomes a neat new toy. Yes. Yeah. 
but there's no profit in finding a cool rock. Ooh, is yeah. that the problem? Yeah, the corporations Uh-oh. have to profit. All right. You know, right. so that's that's why we have to keep buying new bags. You know, it's funny for the bachelor batch. The batch. batch. I bought rocks and passed them out for people to color. <laughs> And I felt ridiculous buying them at Michael's, but I thought, yes. You bought rocks at Michael's? You gave a corporation money. I thought, like, maybe a local shop. It's got neat touristy stuff and it has some rocks. You're like, no, the corporation took my rock money. That's right. That's right. And and it was funny. I bet bet Michael's is laughing all the way to the bank. Well, Michael's gives me a lot of discounts, so it's okay. (laughs) For rocks. For rocks. They pick up some rocks off the ground and they give you a steep discount. They give Gave me twenty percent off these rocks. I think Matt would love to set Michael's on fire. Do you need a bag to carry these rocks home in? We have reusable bags for ninety nine cents. <laughs> it was in a box. But for you, <laughs> Veronique, twenty percent off. <laughs> hey, I colored my rock. It's in my pocket, my vest pocket. Pockets, a perfectly Perfect good place. reusable bag. It's a built-in bag. It's a built-in it's reusable a built-in bag. bag. What's the planet going to do with all these bags? They're going to put the trash in it. I mean, eventually it's going to be, you know, like the Great Depression all over again, where we have to cut holes in all our reusable bags and wear them like smocks. What I think we should do with all the trash piles, though, I think we should shovel all the trash in all of our reusable bags and stack them up and see how many reusable bags can fill the trash and how tall it can get. We uh, We should have a city of trash. A a trash city. We need a trash city. And it's called New York City. (laughs) This has been an episode of Grumble Goat. Thanks for listening. I'm Matt Labotka. I'm Veronique Hurley. Please subscribe. I hate when people say please subscribe. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Bags, bags, bags. What are we going to do with all these bags? (laughs) We did it. We've conquered another one of life's little annoyances. But the truth is, what I really hate is commercials. And I'll wager you do too. And that's why Grumble Goat is proudly commercial free. But to keep it that way, it takes the support of fellow grumblers like you. If you hate commercials, head on over to our Patreon page and see if becoming a grumble kid is right for you. And as always, don't forget to grumble goat responsibly and share with a friend.